Good morning and grace and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord Jesus the Christ. Amen. The reading I'm sharing with you this morning is from 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 6 and 8, the King James Version. For I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight, I have finished my course, I have kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. Here ends the reading. Paul was a sinner. He had persecuted followers of Jesus, hunting them down as blasphemers. But when he met the ascended Jesus on the road to Damascus, he himself came to have faith in him. From that day forward, he proclaimed the good news of Jesus Christ. That good fight he fought cannot be tallied up to his good works. There were no good works that could outweigh what he had done prior to meeting Jesus and trusting him. He finished the course. He reached his destination on the path that Jesus led him by faith alone. Faith that came from an encounter with Jesus by hearing the word of his Lord who had died, risen from the dead, and ascended into the heavenly realms. That is the kingdom of God. It is pretty difficult to have faith, to trust in someone you do not know, and to know someone, to have faith in them, you really have to know something about them. Paul had met Jesus on his way to ensure more atrocities were committed against Christians. From that point on, he had faith to travel a real rough journey himself, a journey which led him to his own death. The journey that led Paul to his own execution was a journey of love for our Lord and for the love of others that they too might come to know Jesus. We too can meet Jesus when we hear his word. He comes to us in his word. He comes to us in the sacrament of Holy Communion. We commune with him in eating, the eating of the bread and drinking of the wine, which are his body and blood, as he told us at his last meal with the disciples before he came to the end of his earthly journey. Jesus is present with us in his word and his sacraments, and in that appearing we come to believe. Faith does not happen on its own or by anything that we might do. Faith is a gift from God received by the holy power of the Holy Spirit when we meet Jesus in the word and sacraments. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we ask you to open the hearts and minds of all people by the power of your Holy Spirit that they might hear your word and come to know you most fully through the word who is Jesus the Christ our Savior and Lord. Amen.